It's art of time, and somewhere Rosito is going crazy. I can hear him already. This has been a long-awaited character. I believe this is the final People character. Always leave traces behind. The final character we're gonna get from Immortal Soul Black Survival with not getting Rosalio. Life short. So make sure to leave a good trace. I know many people are also waiting for this character. I wonder what future generations will think of your traces. And he looks good too. Oh, there's Let's JP as well, history. but I'm not sure if we'll ever get JP. Okay, projectile and skill Isn't shots. To say the concept of freedom Ooh, that's like a roll. Oh, we got ability names? Oh, upgraded trailer. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Cycle. Spatial uh, control mage, maybe? Looks like he likes to control space a lot. The more you know, the more Is that Arcana as well? The lamp, I guess, would be the weapon? Purifying Why zone. That could be crazy. Anyway. Nimrod's gate? I don't know anything about Why Arda's lore. This is a really cool trailer. I'm sorry that I'm talking over I'm talking. They don't usually have characters Memory talking stuff. this much. Time just flows silently. Oh, I'm a real big sucker for time control characters in any form of media. It looks really cool, but this this trailer budget is gone crazy. This is a much higher budget than we normally see. Love to see it. All right, we gotta go back, see what we can find. There's a lot of abilities showcased. The 66th character Arda is here, and boy did we get a banger of a trailer. I wonder what future generations will think of your traces. That's kind of an old head thing to say. <laughs> okay, so uh, right here, this looks like a projectile, probably similar to Nathapon W, where you just put it on the ground and it flies out. Controls an area. This looks like some form of CC knockup, maybe. I think this is two abilities. He puts the square down and then the the thing in the middle of this. Nah, it's probably one ability. I think that's one ability. After a few seconds, it probably crashes down and unlocks. This is like a timepiece, right? I think. Oh, I don't know much about artist lore, but this is a knockup. So he's got a knockup similar to like maybe like terrain. You can't pass through it. Then he's got this roll. This is probably the E, maybe the W, W or E. It looks like it slows. I'm gonna put this in half speed. You know how we do it here. So the roll comes out. Oh, it's knockback. Knockback, knockback and stun? He's got knock up and knockback because the Isaac ends up behind the Lennox. Oh, I guess it's either not, it's like, it's hard to tell from this angle. It could just be a stun or maybe first one knocks back, second one stuns, but he's got two CC abilities so far. Oh, okay, so that's not a knockback. So he rolled it out without him getting knocked back so that means there's a passive trigger probably to make the cc happen so maybe it's a mark that stuns this this is crazy okay this looks like a duplication almost so there's the roll there's the the pillar on the ground that didn't knock up either this time or maybe he dashes out of it i don't know and then we have the square thing which i would assume is probably the all maybe it's a two-part thing it, like that's why it was a circle on the other one Oh, his passive is going to be crazy complicated though. There's the pillar again, which makes me think it's two abilities. So maybe, oh, okay, maybe, maybe pillar's the trigger for CC. So the, he puts the square down and then drops the pillar in it. And that's the knock up. If he has the carpet and then drops the pillar down, is that the knockback slash stun? I didn't see uh, the pillar in the other one. Let me go back. Is there a pillar that he drops down in this? No, it's just a straight roll. So maybe this is the alt then the carpet. Kind of a little bit of an underwhelming ultimate, I'm gonna be honest, but maybe it'll be cool. I think as long as this kit flows together, it'll be cool. Um, I can't tell if the 11's on his team here, but he might have just ignored the 11 taunt, so he might have some. No, the 11's definitely on his team. Oh, it's a TP. Oh shit, that's crazy. Okay, he has a TP that works while 11's channeling abilities, because I think 11 starts the taunt in. Oh no, she doesn't start it in. She starts it after. Okay, but that's still cool. She has, he has a TP ability. That's probably the ultimate. That's a much cooler ultimate than this fucking carpet. This looks probably passive. When collecting resources, he has a purification thing. That was the root symbol that just popped up. So, oh no, is that root or thorns? I think that's root. This is root. So this field roots. The, okay, there's a pillar behind in this one. So maybe it knocks back if it hits the first target into the pillar. I'm not quite sure how that works. It's really, that's really hard to tell. But to review, we have the pillar that he can put down, the carpet, the uh, the purification zone, and then the teleport, and then this like square zone. So I think that's all his abilities. Whether they have two parts or not, we'll have to see. But that's a really cool character. I'm excited to see what they do with him.
Thank you so much for watching. This has been my character reaction to Arctic. Be sure to click or tap the screen if you want to be taken to a playlist filled with all of my Eternal Return new character reactions.